been restored to about 10,000 customers, but about 62,000 remain without power. We do begin our coverage with KTVU's Brooks Jarose live tonight in Humboldt County. Brooks? Well, no power here, Mike. We're in uh, Rio Dell, and we are upstairs in one of the homes that was severely damaged. Not as bad as some neighbors who their homes have been red tagged, so they're not even able to sleep in their own home tonight. But in this home in particular, take a look. All these boxes were neatly stacked up earlier. They all came crashing down, we're told, when that earthquake struck just before 3 a.m. This was a giant shoe closet here that came crashing down here and you can see over on that side of the room they had a bunch of baking supplies up here and you can see they all spilled all over the place it looks like some rice and some flour and across the hall over this way be careful when you come here again no running water no gas no electricity tonight um, but you can see in here all of the stuff that has just been tossed about and thrown about here. Uh, this desk was at one time pushed over here. You can see this was once a bookshelf. All the books came out, all the videotapes on it. Uh, now it just looks like a bunch of plywood. And then through here, if you go in the bathroom, let's see if we can go inside here, you can see that the actual porcelain top to the toilet there cracked in several pieces some of it on the floor all of the supplies beauty supplies are all scattered about now the people who live here they've been collecting the essential things because they're concerned that they may be asked to leave or that the fire department may red tag their place next door uh, those people just had the fire department come and escort them inside their home so they could get a couple of their things they even pulled a mattress out put it in a pickup truck so they could take it to sleep at a family member's home. But for the people that live here, there were cracks throughout the downstairs going from the windows to the ceilings. Take a listen to what the homeowner, Nancy, had to say about this big quake. This was my living room. Wow. Um, I am a little better housekeeper than this. <laughs> I was sleeping there and then the house exploded. What are we looking at here? I mean, I know it's kind of obvious, but my God. Um, that is uh, the, the cracks that open up in most earthquakes, but on steroids this time. And I just had the house painted, in, interior painted and patched, uh, and they finished two weeks ago. When you look at all this, what do you think? Here we go again. <laughs> This happened to us in 1992 also. The floor was covered with broken glass. That's been cleaned up. And again, some more damage there. Are you free to walk around in here? I was, but, but now that the glass is up, I can, I can maneuver. Now she says she's lucky because this house has been retrofitted and she just wonders what would have happened if it wasn't. In fact, she actually tells me that the school behind this home has also been red tagged and that's typically the place where when there is a big quake, people can come and get warm. Not this time, now it's been relocated at City Hall. We also saw several firefighters that have been going door to door on several streets in this town, passing out blankets and bottled water by the case. Now, many people say they are going to stay in their homes if they're able to, others are saying they're leaving and they are going to stay with family tonight. Uh, the gas is still shut off here. Water still not um, in town yet. We saw the gas station is closed and taped off until they can inspect that. So lots of work to be done and lots of cleanup in the days ahead. Yeah, so much damage as you just showed us. And uh, many homes have been red tagged, which means they're uninhabitable. So yeah. Brooks, you talked to some people who are going to family members. Are there emergency shelters that have been set up for people? Because it's cold outside with no power, no running water. What are people doing? It is cold, but I will tell you that people around here are very, very friendly to one another and they know each other. This is not a big community. So anyone that doesn't have a home to stay in, one of their neighbors is letting them come inside and be able to at least have a place to crash and keep warm for the night. Hey, Brooks, one for the road here. The people you've talked to, how did they actually describe the earthquake? Was it five seconds? Was it 10? Was it a strong jolt or more of like a rolling kind of uh, quake? 
No, this one, they say, they describe it as a shaker. And when they say a shaker, they don't mean kind of that rolling sort of thing. But this went on for a long time. In fact, one father I spoke with said his daughter was grabbing onto uh, him in bed, you know, saying, you know, she was scared, she said. And so this went on for at least 15, 20, 25 seconds, I've heard from some of these neighbors around here. Okay. Yeah, it looks like a violent shaking. All right. Seems like an eternity. Yeah, 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 and when you see all that on the ground there, it probably was to many yeah. people. Brooks DeRose reporting live for us tonight in Rio Del. Brooks, thank you.